Hey guys, Jesus here with the Vault Pro Scooters and we're gonna have a what the heck video on the TSI Paramount Dropout Reinforcements. So the reason why we have these bad boys right here is for this exact reason. If you ride a Paramount like me, your dropouts are gonna end up just like this. Super bent and very hard to get your axle in and out at times. And if you're gonna want to put your reinforcements on a deck that's already like mine, you will have to bend your dropouts down with some pliers. Be very careful in the process of doing so because you can crack that portion. You can definitely break that if you're too, if you're too rough and you use too much force on that. So we're gonna show you on a brand new, beautiful Trans Red Paramount deck here that we got from the shop. And we're gonna show you the full process of the installation. When you first purchase these reinforcements, it's gonna be just the two reinforcements. That's all you're gonna get for the price. They're sold as a pair, so don't worry about having to click the quantity of two. It's sold as a pair. And this is exactly what you're gonna get these two bad boys right here. We're gonna be working with the stock axle and lock nut that comes with the deck, and that's all you're really gonna need. If you're running pegs, which I don't really see anybody running pegs on a Paramount deck, you might need a different axle, but this is gonna be to show you how it is exactly with the stock Paramount deck with no kind of modifications to the deck. After troubleshooting and working with this on my own, it doesn't matter which side they go on. The most important thing that matters is as long as you slide them into the correct position. Um, we're gonna show you a close up here of where you need to slide it into, but there's a little lip on the edge of the deck, part of the extrusion, that's gonna be pretty much holding it right above here. So it's gonna slide in pretty much just like that. And it's gonna get in there and get locked in place. So we're gonna start off with the first one. You're gonna come in straight right here and bam, just like that. Second one, same thing. We're gonna go in straight as flush and close to the deck. You want this edge with your axle hole to be as flush right here so it can fit into that little lip. That little lip is super skinny and it's literally only wide enough for you to be able to get this section in there. So it might be a little tedious, but through trial and error and through a few attempts, you'll definitely be able to get it. So the second one here, sliding in and bam. As you see, they're being held in place and this one's upside down and there's no axle and that's exactly how it should be. So now that you guys know how to do it, we're gonna show you what not to do because the first time I ever put one of these on, I thought I should come in this way. If you try to come in directly this way, you're gonna hit the edge of the lip. You're not gonna be able to enter it from this access point. And what happens then is if you try to tighten your axle here, it's gonna make your spacer, or sorry, the dropout reinforcement bulge out like this and it's not gonna be in line with your deck. And you definitely don't want that because that sharp edge can definitely be a little bit hazardous. Now, we're gonna put our axle through. And remember guys, this is the stock axle. This one slipped again a little bit because it is, like we said, upside down. So just due to gravity, obviously it's gonna wanna go down. So you can definitely hold it just to keep it from slipping. But once you do that, your axle's gonna go through all the way. So now that we got our axle through here, let me flip this bad boy over. I'm gonna put my finger on the bottom of the axle so it doesn't slip out. And I'm just gonna drop this bad boy in. Something that might help if you have fat fingers like me, that you might wanna use an Allen just to help center your nut, which just like that, bam, got it. So now I'm gonna go and push the nut all the way to the edge just to make sure it's in line. I'm gonna grab my six millimeter Allen wrench and I'm just gonna start tightening it. Once you feel it catch threads, you don't have to hold it with your finger anymore. You can let go. So now, all right, I feel the threads, I'm gonna let go, and I'm just gonna tighten it. Going. All right, we're still going. And, all right, it's getting pretty tight. All right, voila, we're done. So as you guys see, you want these to be as flush as possible so that when you insert them here, they're gonna be in the appropriate guideline of the little extrusion of the deck. And that little lip is where you're gonna pretty much help have this the reinforcement between the deck and that little lip on the outside of it. Ultimately, this is the final result. Obviously, you'd have a wheel and your brake if you ride a brake or your Chetty on here, but we're showing you just a simple installation of it as is. I mean, unless you guys wanna have your dropouts looking like mine as we just showed you at the beginning of the video, definitely cop some of these bad boys. I know once I get another Paramount deck, I'm gonna have a fresh set of these as soon as I buy it. Something we didn't mention earlier is that this is exclusive to the Paramount deck. So if you have any other square deck or any other deck that you're trying to help out with the reinforcements in the back, it, we have not attempted it and we don't really recommend it. You're more than welcome to though, but this is specifically for the TSI Paramount deck. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, if you have any questions or anything, drop it down in the comment section below. Make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms. Any other what the heck videos you'd like to see, make sure you let us know. We're always excited to do these videos for you guys. So until next time.